Looking ahead now on Arts Avenue, Milwaukee's Repertory Theater's upcoming rock musical ba Run Bambi Run. Sorry, there's a fly in here. It tells the story of Milwaukee's infamous femme fatale, Lori Bimbinick. Joining us live now this morning is the theater's uh, director of media relations, Francis White. Francis, good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. So we talked with uh, Jonathan Hetler, the artistic director of the Rep, uh, a while ago when you guys were casting for this show. And now we know that the show is cast. The show isn't into the fall, but the theater is having a flash sale this week. Sure. So this coming Tuesday, June 20th, uh, we are holding a one day sale for Run Bambi Run. And it's a chance to get 25 percent off tickets. And what's exciting is this is a world premiere musical that is kicking off our 70th anniversary season at Milwaukee Rep. And it'll be the first uh, world premiere musical to be on the Quadrachi Powerhouse stage. And that's a big deal if we're talking about wanting to be a part of something that is made in Milwaukee for Milwaukee by a lot of Wisconsin very important people, like as you're seeing these pictures right here, we have Gordon Gano, uh, who has written the score, and you may know him from The Violent Femmes, uh, and is along with Eric Simonson, who is our playwright. And he is an Academy Award winning playwright and just one of those guys who wrote Lombardi, who many people have seen at Milwaukee Rep and all over. And it's just a fantastic team tied together with Mark Clemens, uh, Milwaukee Rep's artistic director. So I'm really excited to see this musical launch off the ground. It's big, it's bombastic, it's a rock concert, um, it's very ensemble driven, and it's going to be a night that people in Milwaukee are going to be talking about for a long time. Yeah, for people who are not familiar with Lori Benbenek and her story, kind of fill us in on what the show is all about. Sure. So if you're like me and we're bored in the 80s, you may not be totally clear, but as my mother would tell you, um, it was a big story that took over the news waves in Milwaukee and all across the world. Um, Lori Mimenik was convicted of murdering her ex -hus or her husband's ex-wife, and she has a wild tale. It goes through so many twists and turns um, that I don't want to get into because it's, it's too crazy to like when you say it out loud, but when you're sitting in the seats of the theater, I think what's exciting about the musical is that it doesn't say, you know, is she right? Is she wrong? Did she do it or not? It's really a search for what you think is right. Um, and the one of the opening numbers, it's called Innocent or Guilty. And it's this big rock anthem um, that only a guy like Gordon Gano could have written. Uh, and it just makes you feel that and it puts you in that place. And you just don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah, so interesting. And really quickly, while I have you, just again, fill us in on this flash sale. When does it start and how can people be a part of it? Sure. So the flash sale starts on Tuesday, June 20th, uh, 7 a.m. You can call the ticket office or you can head to our website, MilwaukeeRep.com. Uh, and that's probably the best place to go to get these this great deal. Uh, and then we start the play starts in September and runs through October. All right, and you can find more information on the play and that flash sale that starts on Tuesday on the 12 News app. Francis White from Milwaukee Rep, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate it.